This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my wonderful peeps So earlier today, England and India They just gave us a taste of what is to come in the T20 World Cup. Yes, man. We had an outstanding warm-up game between the two, T um, two T20 Giants. And I am telling my viewers and subscribers, a couple of the players played some exceptionally good innings. Raul, he was outstanding. Johnny Bearstow and Ishan Kishan, those guys really lit the place up. So I'm just going to go through quickly and let you guys have an idea of how the game went. But before I go any further, you already know what I'm going to ask. Just go ahead and get the golden rule out of the way. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell. Make sure that you drop a like and leave a comment. Alright, so in into it now my viewers and subscribers. And I want to let you know... Um, in this contest, England, uh, they batted first and they got a challenging total of 188. They really looked good until India, you know, started to bat. So I, I must say, in England really looked as if they were going to win the game even before India got a chance to bat. That's how, that's how good England was actually looking at one point. But as they say, you know, it's not, it's not, what, it's not a one innings game. You understand? And 188, as I said, is what they got. And to be honest, if you look at that, if you look at that um, India batting lineup, you would think that once, you know, a couple of them get, get off, then they would be able to get us a total of 188. Now, Jason Roy and, and uh, Josh Butler, you know, they were unable to really get big scores. You know, they got um, 17 and 18, respectively, of 13 deliveries each. You understand? So, the two of them started off, played some shots, you know, seemed as if they were going to light the place up, but they lost their, uh, lost their wickets, as I said there. Alright, so, um, David Milan, who I think is ranked, I think he's ranked number one now. Yeah, man, he's highly ranked um, where, where international cricket is concerned and white ball. You understand? Um, he came in and he really looked as if he, he was going to do some damage. Looked in good touch. You understand, got to a start, but wasn't able to kick on. He got um, dismissed for 18. I would know that getting something like 18 in a T20 game and looking good, you know, that is a start. You know, to be able to stroke the ball around and get 18, that is a start. You understand, and um, he was dismissed, as I said, but Johnny Bairstow, he was rock solid in the middle order. And, you know, when he was batting, at that, that is the time when I thought that, well, you know, England might have a chance to get to push close to, to about 200. You know, his 49 came off 36 deliveries. You know, he had four fours and a six um, in that innings there. So he was, he was very good. Uh, he was strongly supported down there um, by Liam Livingstone, who came in and got a rapid, um, well, not necessarily rapid, you know, but he came in and got some runs. I think 30 of 20 deliveries is what you got. So, you know, it contributed um, well. Yeah, man. Um, or something like that. Let me, let me just double check. But he came in and he, and he did his thing. Yeah, man. He got 30 of 20 deliveries to really chip in. Yeah, you know, but Moen Ali, once again, my viewers and subscribers, Moen Ali was also looking extremely good. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, this England lineup is solid. Moen Ali came in and he stroked a beautiful 43 of 20. You understand? Outstanding bat outstanding um, batting by, by Ali. You know, he just he, he was able to hit the ball all over the place. Looked really smooth. He had about four fours and two sixties, sixes in that knock. So, you know, he, he really looked well. And that is how they ended up at 188. Now, Mohamed Shami, he was good with the ball. He got uh, three. But, you know, gave away some runs. think he gave away about 40 runs or so. Yeah, man, 3 for 40 off his 4 overs. Boomerah, he, was he wasn't that expensive but didn't take much wicket. He got 1 for 26. So, those were the two guys that really um, did the damage for India. Now, 
when it was time for India to go in and, 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 and chase down that total, my viewers, I must say that they really made that target looked as if, you know, it, it, was, it was easy, like, like butter against a hot knife or butter against sun. Yeah, man, from the get-go, they started to spank the ball. They started spanking it all over. I don't know what to say about um, Rahul. The guy is a batting genius. The guy is brilliant. He played some unbelievable shots, my viewers and subscribers. You know, he played a couple of straight drives. He played, a, 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 I think he was on, he played an, a, an off drive that it was just elegant. You understand? Raul just looked in tip-top shape. But as soon as he brought up his 50, he was removed. Um, but before that, uh, he, um, Raul and Kishan, you know, they got the score to 82. And um, Raul was removed for 51 of 24. It was, just, it was just looking good. It looked smooth. You understand? And, you know, he, he got dismissed. Ishan Kishan, he also got an half century, got 70 and then retired. You know, he, he was he, at one point. He, at one point in time out there, was looking as if he was barely even able to run. Place was hot, you know. But he got 70, 70 nonetheless. You understand? And I mean, they just hammered the ball. They hammered it. Uh, Virat Kohli he came in, and he got eleven of thirteen. So you know, um, not not a not a not not you know a, a strong score by the captain. You know, um, 11 of 13, I'm sure he would have wanted to spend some more time out there and to try and see how best he, he, could, have, he could, have, um, could have helped the team. Now, Richard Pant, the wicket keeper, he remained um, not out on 29 of 14 deliveries, you know, to help bring up the victory. He struck the ball smoothly. I am telling you, you know, this guy, this guy, when he's hitting the ball, man, when he's in touch, he looks really good. So 29 or 14, you understand? Um, where, where the wickets are concerned, uh, I think it was Willie Wood and Livingstone that shared the wickets one apiece, you understand? And, and you know, India got, got, got over the line. You know, um, they won the game by seven wickets with six deliveries to spare. So they made that 188 look like meat and drink, you understand? But... Um, generally speaking, it was a good game. You know, it's not like the, it's not like the English bowlers didn't bowl too well in a but as I said, Raul and Ishan Kishan up the top there, they really, they really um, looked well. They spanked the ball nicely, you know, and then they came in. Then uh, Richard Pan came further down there and you know did his thing. But if I if I was to select one or two batsmen that really impressed me. Um, in this game, it would definitely, even though Ishan Kishan got some runs, I really like the strokes that um, uh, Raul and, and, and Moen Ali played. Those two, guys, they, those two guys were brilliant. Brilliant, my viewers and subscribers. So, you know, um, you know it's an eye-opener. Our, our team, West Indies, we played earlier this morning, as I would have indicated in my, in my, um, in my video that I did earlier. And I must say that, you know, it... <laughs> it just it just showed us it just showed us that boy if we don't really go out there and perform then it doesn't matter what sort of big names we have on the on, on our on our books you know it doesn't matter the big name that we have on our books we are we are definitely not going to be able to to win any games if we don't go out there and do what is and and do what is is necessary you understand but uh we're just gonna continue to watch these um to watch these warm-up games i think west indies have another one at uh yeah man we have another one wednesday against afghanistan so that will be a next time a next chance to really test a couple more combination and see exactly what is happening as it regards to the team but we're gonna leave this one right here for now my viewers and subscribers sports to the bone keeping you informed please remember to like share Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.